of the 19th century was the century of steel, and the 20th century was the century of concrete. We're moving into a wood century. The ability of wood to be carbon sequestering versus something like concrete, which is not that, I think, in, in a really big picture sense, is probably the most appealing aspect. There are several big advantages in terms of construction. And from the architectural point of view, the fact that they sequester carbon and that the codes are now beginning to incorporate life cycle analysis in the codes so that, you know, how much energy is, in, is actually made in the manufacture of the product and whether it sequesters carbon or not becomes a big issue. That's a huge advantage. Mastenberg helps us set the stage in terms of the environmental ambitions of the project from, from a carbon standpoint, but then also extending that throughout the entire approach to the building and you get an energy efficient building, as well as a building that's, that's healthy and sustainable in terms of its approachability and livability as well. If someone's interested in using mass timber, I think they need to embrace the fact that they will be one of the pioneers at this point. You can be part of a revolution of building with a sustainable and renewable and natural resource that sequesters carbon rather than expels many times more carbon. I'm very excited. I feel like we're just at the, the very beginning. Uh, and I think we're going to look back on this five years from now. I think we'll probably be laughing a little bit at the things we're doing, but I also feel like we don't have really a sense of how big this could be, and I think it'll just become part of the way we think about building, you know, in the United States and internationally.